you were making about Venezuela. Very informative stuff. And he just come out with his book, um, The Title of Escape. His most recent book. He just released a book like a, it was last year, I think it was. Five one two. Five one two, you're live. What's your name? What's your comment? Yo, am I on? Yeah, who's this? This is Dave L. Dave L, what's up, man? I see you in the comment section. Get up to Dave L, guys. <laughs> um, what's up, Al? I'm sort of unprepared. I'm, I'm sort of unprepared. But I think you got the Jimmy debate correct. I think that's important. It, it is important, but I was I just finished an entire clip. I don't know if he's gonna talk about it or mention anything, but um you know, this bullshit that we're doing in Venezuela is bullshit. So I'll just repeat what I said to him only here. So I'm just comparing and contrast the different dictatorships all across the world. So you got Putin, he's been a dictator for 17 years, right? With Navalny, you got those protests, the Russian Revolution that's happening right now. So if we're opposed to dictatorships, then we should invade. How come we don't invade Russia? How come we don't invade Belarus? Belarus right now, unprecedented crackdown. There's this Alexander Lukashenko president since 1994. You know, I know he's a dictator because he's been in there for 27 years. He's been in there for 27 years. He's a dictator, so we've got to invade. Now, Maduro, how long has Maduro been in there? Well, he's been in there for 2013. You had Hugo Chavez. He had died in 2013. He died at 50 years of, 58 years of age, which is crazy. He died at 58. He seemed like he was a bill of health. Anyways, Hugo Chavez dies at 2013. Maduro is elected president, 51% of the vote in a special election. 2018, he's re-elected president, 68% of the vote. You know, not, I don't know the election. Jimmy Carter says it's the best one, but, you know, maybe there's shenanigans. Irregardless, that's eight years, 2013, 2021, that is eight years. So if you want Maduro to get out of office, just wait two years. If you wait two years, Maduro will be out of office. But So if it's about getting rid of dictators, and we've got dictators all over the place, that Paul Bia, we have troops in Cameroon right now protecting and helping Paul Bia out. And you know who Paul Bia is? Well, he's been a dictator for 40, you know, 40, maybe even 40 plus 7, 45 fucking years. He's a prime minister from 1975 to 1982. 1982, the president resigns. He becomes the president. 1983 to 84, he coup d'etats all of his rivals. This is the guy that we're sending troops for in Cameroon. He wiped out. He murdered out all of his rivals, all of his opponents. There's only one party rule. So he just killed everybody. Jesus Christ. And then he had a fake election in 1992, another fake election in 1997, another fake election in 2004, 2011, 2018. And now it's 2021. He's been in there 45 fucking years, ruling Cameroon. We got troops in Cameroon. So if we're opposed to dictatorships, then uh, we should just get rid of Paul Bia right now. We already got troops over there, right? So let's just get rid of Paul Bia. Let's get rid of that Alexander Lukashenko. And let's get rid of Putin if we're actually opposed to dictatorships. Venezuela is not about getting rid of dictatorships. Venezuela... It's about socialism, oil, and empire. Socialism is a bad example. You can't have people that's 73 in Chile, right? You got rid of us. And then Bolivia. And then you had oil. Oil is all over Libya, Syria. And then you also got, uh, you know, Venezuela's number one with all them billions of barrels of oil. So Libya, Syria, Venezuela. Who else? Oh, yeah, Iraq. There's Iraq. And then we're the empire. We got... 100, you know, 900 military bases in 150 countries. So with the empire, we should just take, you know, we should just take it over, right? We should just take it all over. I also started out with the quote of Fred Hampton, how he says that you can kill a revolutionary, but you can't kill the revolution. And then Fred Hampton had said something about, always remember that the last words on my lips is that I am a revolutionary. Fucking badass. Fred Hampton's just a badass. So, yeah. France has been backing Paul Bia. 
So it's just going to turn into another fucking Vietnam. Get out of Cameroon. Stop the war in Cameroon. Stop the war in Palestine. Stop the Yemeni genocide. And stop the war on, pa on Venezuela. Stop the war on Venezuela. For God's sakes. Let them run their own nation. Two more years, he'll step down. Brand new elections, brand new president, brand new day. We're going to spend all this fucking money to overthrow this guy just for bullshit reasons. We need to treat the rest of the world as equals. Hugo Chavez dying reminded me of Stokely Carmichael. In 1996, Stokely Carmichael is going to get prostate cancer, and he's going to say that it was the FBI that did it. And you might say that's weird, but he's going to die young. Hugo Chavez died at 58 years of age. We kidnapped him in 2002, and then that's, you know, 11 years later. So, you know, there's uh, Russia likes to, Putin likes to poison, or Belarus, they like to poison. Who was it? Was it Belarus where the guy's face like he was just bright and shiny and then he got poisoned and it looked like he just deteriorated? Stop the war in Venezuela. Peace.